What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. You know a lot of times when I tell people that, they think that I say boxing, so like, you box? And I'm like, no, I unbox. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 February Comic-Con box. I don't know if this has my address on it, but now you can't actually see the title of the box, so that defeats the whole purpose. I believe that this is box number nine or 10 maybe, I don't quite remember. Uh, they don't really go by months anymore, they go by the number of the box, so I don't remember what number it is though. And I don't even remember the theme, so I'm pretty useless right now. Uh, anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put the pricing details in the description below. I need to get a new unboxing knife because the scissors, it's just not working out for me. All right, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Attack on Titan? Is this an anime box? <sighs> Yes, it is. This box is clearly anime. All right, the first item that we have is a, it says, yes, anime on it. <laughs> uh, we have a Trexie. Okay, I'm gonna do my best. This is a Shonen Jump Death Note. It's an official licensed product. Yes, anime ink. This is Light Yagami. He looks quite sad. Uh, you could have gotten L Ryuk. Miss Amane or Light Yagami. So it's just a little vinyl figurine. The next time we got, I changed my mind. It's not just anime. The next time we got, and this is actually really cool. It's from Buckle Down. These are Deadpool suspenders. <laughs> you know, I wish I was cool enough to pull off suspenders, but I haven't had very good luck. I think T wears suspenders though, so I might see if she wants these. Uh, but these are very cool. Next we have Star Wars Blueprints Paper Craft. It's a 12 inch posable character and I believe this is Darth Vader. Yes it is. That's cool. I had signed up for a Kickstarter for some kind of paper craft but I don't think it was this one. I think this is a different company. There's three different ones that you could get. Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, or Chewbacca. Cool. We got a comic book. It's Deadpool. Is this a Comic Con exclusive? Yes, this is a Comic-Con box exclusive. Should we take it out? I'm going to. I already know that this will not be appropriate for work because it's Deadpool, and Deadpool in general is not appropriate for work, so I can't imagine that this is. Yep, I just saw tequila. Tequila, tequila. The Merc. I should have known. The Merc for money. So, it's a pretty big comic book, actually. I don't know if it's multiple, but there you go. You got your colored pages. Not as many ads as a normal comic book has. Oh, actually, so the first part of this is the actual Deadpool comic, and the second part of this is a special bonus Spidey comic. So it's Spider-Man. It's weird. All right, and then last but not least, we have our shirt. It's an Attack of the Titan shirt. It is black, and it is a medium? Yes. Looks a teeny bit small, although the last box I got had a really big shirt. I can't, I have no comment about the shirt because I don't have anything to say about it because I don't know anything about it. Um, I'm sure you guys can fill me in. I know some of you guys watch Attack of the Titans. Um, I got a cool bag when I first started doing unboxing videos one time and I believe it was Attack of the Titans. All right, so this is box number 10 and the theme was Mercenaries. So we got our Deadpool and the Mercs for Money comic book right there. We had our Deadpool suspenders right there. We had our Death Note Trexie figure. And then we had our Attack on Titan t-shirt. And then the one thing that wasn't listed was this box paper craft thing of Darth Vader. Uh, let's see. Value-wise, this box is freaking expensive, I just realized. It just came to my mind. Because it's $30 a month, and then it's like, it's like $8 for shipping. This box almost cost me freaking $40. It's currently one of my most expensive boxes. So, here, let's do value. $10 for the shirt, and I know some of you guys are like, oh, well, if it's an anime shirt, it's more expensive. A, they have anime shirts at Hot Topic, and when they're on sale, $10. I'll be nice and I'll give it 12 just to make you guys feel better. 
So $12, final figuring, $10, that's $22. Um, comic book, I'll give it the value of the comic book, which I would never pay for, but it's $4. So that's uh, $26. This is paper craft, I'll give $5, so that's $31. And then these suspenders are probably, are probably like, I don't know how much suspenders cost, probably around $10, but we'll say $8, $9, $8, uh, I already forgot, I already forgot. No matter what you want to give this, this box, even with my high shirt value, basically just hits its value. Sorry, um, if you're going to get more, then you might get a couple dollars more, but at the, th I think it's $38 that I'm paying for this box, it's 30, it's high 30s. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm gonna look. $38.99. So I think that you're just getting your value with this box. It used to be really cool. When I first started getting it, it was cool because they were giving you these kind of exclusive items. I'm assuming that they had at Comic-Con events like signed and autographed photos and just things like that. And it just, lately it's kind of just become one of those boxes like all of the other boxes. Nothing's really special about it and it's freaking expensive. So it's kind of, I don't know. I know a lot of people have been saying that they don't really like it, and you're right. I'm kind of with you. I'm not a huge fan of it right now. I'm hoping that they can step it up. I don't know if it's because there's no Comic-Cons going on. I think there's always Comic-Cons going on. I don't really know that for a fact, but um, yeah, it's not the best box. Anyways, next month, it's going to be Justice is the thing. All right, that was your 2016 February box number 10 Mercenaries Comic-Con box. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of videos on there. And you should subscribe. Currently trying to hit my goal of 4,000. And my long-term goal um, within the next few months is to try to hit 6,000. So we'll see if we can make it happen. I don't, I'm not quite sure if we can, but... We're going to try, right? Because why not? Um, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this box. You know, yeah, this box used to be better for me, and now it just seems kind of average, and I, I'm not a fan of that. I hate when boxes just give you your value. Like, I'm glad that it hits its value, but I feel like a box like this one, like the reason I got in the first place was that it gave me more value or gave me exclusive items that I couldn't necessarily get anywhere else. And so right now it's kind of not on my top list. I don't have a top list. I just made that up. But it's just not one of my favorite boxes. I don't get that excited about it. So I'm hoping that they can step it up. I'm kind of excited about the theme for next month, which is justice. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions, I always want to say subs, if your subscriptions are not blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!